Let's turn our attention now north of the border to David Jennings. What's that course for that, where we're racing? Oh, yeah, I was waiting for this to come. Um, I've been practicing this at Mus Musselboro. Musselboro, good. Oh, no. Excellent, yeah. well done. You've got the hang on that one. And there's two televised races there at 2.05. It's the William Hill Tartan Trophy Consolation Race. Handicap, oh, 15 runners, boo. Hopefully Paddy Power are paying four places. Rob, any chance? We sure are. Ah, well done. That's what we like to hear. Good, excellent. Right, let's get a show of betting. Right, so it's five to one Rashik, the top weight. That's the, the horse we make favourite. Seven to one Zach Brown. Eight successable. It's tens Show Daisy. Eleven to one Fast Track. Twelves Orient Class and straight forward. And fourteens Bar. Take it away, Paul Keeley. Yeah, I like Zach Brown here quite a lot. He's, he's a horse that's come back to form this season. A uh, very, very good horse on the all weather. You know, uh, you know, almost up to a, uh, a, a hundred rating, and he, he he's, he's much lower on turf for good reason. His form isn't as good on turf, but he, he won at Goodwood last time, and he beat Petek side, and the pair were nearly four lengths clear of the rest. Petek side's a real course specialist at Goodwood, and Zach Brown just looks to be in absolute flying form, and he's he's got a six pound penalty. But if you take if you take Petek side out of the race, he'd have gone up fourteen. So, you know, I, I think he's got a big chance. Do you reckon you'll have 40 quid on him? Or at least. Could be more? Could be more, yeah. All up to win or uh, each way? Uh, well, 15 runners, I'd probably go win. OK. Uh, DJ, what do you like? Yeah, I like Zach Brown too. Um, I, I think that, as, as Paul alluded to there, I think that race at Goodwood wasn't too bad. I thought Seamster, who finished third that day, ran quite well uh, the other night at Hamilton. It uh, wasn't beaten that far. I think the form of that race is pretty solid in the context of the race. As Paul said, much lower on turf than it is in the all-weather. Sure, it must be up nearly rate 100 in the all-weather, I'd say, Paul. Yeah, it's not far um, off. It's about £20 mm, difference between them, isn't it? Yeah. Now, the draw, 14 is good, isn't it? Yeah. For the draw, it's a front runner, yeah. obviously. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, everything seems to be... All the ducks are in a row for Zach Brown, Bruce. Righty-ho, the lads both like Zach Brown. What do you like, Rob? Yeah, I like the horse two below with Tommy G, one of uh, two Jim Goldie horses in the race. He's been running well. He was a winner two runs ago. Um, and this conditional Phil Dennis on board, he's ridden three winners in the last two weeks. So he's obviously a young man going places. Jim Goldie does well in Scotland. He doesn't do, do that well at Musselburgh, but I think that'll change with Tommy G, one of his two runners. Okay, you know, let's look at the other uh, live race on ITV4. It's the 310. It's the William Hill Scottish Sprint Cup. Handicap, loads of old favourites here, 17 runners. Uh, Rob, take it away with a show. Right, we're 6-1 to one Duke of Ferenz, 7s about Orion's Bow, it's 9-1 to one Caspian Prince and Desert Law, it's 10-1 to one Kimberella and East Street Review, and we're 12s bar. Kiels, what price are you to have a hard luck story in this race, do you think? Well, I've already got one. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty short, so. Uh, in the weekender, <laughs> uh, I, I really fancied and I backed anti post a horse called Edward Lewis. He was an unlucky, an unlucky fourth in the uh, dash at Epsom, and he was the only horse out of the entire five day entries that didn't get declared. <laughs> yeah, that, so is, that is that is that unlucky. Is a bad luck story. But but this this little kind of elbow shaped five furlongs at Mass, it does uh, lend itself to a few traffic problems, doesn't it? Uh, yeah, it does. Yeah, yeah, it, it definitely does. But there's a huge amount of pace in here. Have you got Have you got yeah. over your disappointment uh, and and sussed another one? For uh, yeah, I don't. Well, mission. sussed. Like, yeah, I mean, I remember criticising Tom Siegel for putting up games from the other day because his horse just doesn't win very very often. Um, but I thought he ran a really eye catching race there, and they are going to go really hard. And if he, he's, he's one of those horses that he does want to come squeezing through, and it might just set up well for him uh, this time. He's about he's about sixteen to one shot, isn't he, Rob? Yeah, he is. Yeah, and he's you know he's got a good draw. I mean, he's going to have to have the gaps open for him, but I, I thought he might go well. He was like gamesome, having slagged off the uh, peerless price wise earlier in the week for tipping the same horse. DJ, what do you like? I can't believe the price of Harry Hurricane Bruce. Um, I thought was quite unlucky. Um, at at York on its return, uh, was fourth to Copper Knight, but. Didn't get much luck. I know every one of these horses, as you said, has been unlucky at one stage or another, but just didn't get the run of the race at York. Had been in Maidan, where it performed quite admirably. Was second in Medici Man um, on its first start in Maidan back in January. I think he's well handicapped still off 98. Now, he's one of these ones. He's going to need luck and run. He's going to be buried in the pack. But if the gaps do open, I think 16 to 1 is a big price each way. OK, Rob, what's your selection? Yeah, I like uh, one of the Paul Misley runners, Desert Law. He was a good winner at Musselburgh um, two runs ago when Paul had three in the race, and this was the outsider of the three. And at that stage, Paul, I, I don't think he, he trained a winner all season. And uh, this lad, he won well that day. He wasn't beaten far in the Epsom Dash. I think back uh, back at Musselburgh, I think um, with the Midgley horses running much better, I think he's definitely a better round nines. 